Ever get one of those bogus copyright claims that you know that you're in the right, that you're using royalty free, but somebody else is coming along and making a claim that they own the rights? This is how you dispute it. I'll show you. I got another one. They've taken revenue from me and this pisses me off. So let's fix it. So it's Saturday morning and I do the same thing I do every Saturday morning when I first turn on my computer. I, I check the, the literally dozens of emails that I get every day. And I mean, every day, it's I usually check my email multiple times a day. But I always go looking for ones like this because these pop up from time to time. A lot of times it's just people commenting on things and then I get ones like this. High 12 volt vids. A copyright owner using content ID claim material in your video. This is not a copyright strike. The claim does not affect your account. There are ads running and the revenue going to the copyright owner. And uh, the copyright owner is receiving stats about your video's views. Here's the title, Luxman LV103 Hybrid Amp Service. The copyright content is called The Cloud by Merlin Symphonic Dis Distribution. Now, it's not because, and then it'll go on telling me what's next, there are no problems, you don't have to take any action, you, just, you don't need to delete your video, you're just not going to make any money from it, that's what they're saying. And they'll give me this whole bullshit about need copyright safe songs. The, the, the copyright is going to be something from Music Bakery, which, which is royalty free. So let's take a look at the details. My hybrid app service. And let's first of all see when I put this video up. So Lexman LV103, because it doesn't tell me my, I don't think it tells me my published date here, but it's been up for a while. So this, this one, so let's just open another window beside it here and I'll go look for my LV103 so I can see the stats as to when this went up. So there it is. So, <clears throat> so here's the video. Here's the offending video. You notice over here on this side of the screen, it is no longer eligible for monetization. And I've had just under 31,000 views, which means that that video has generated several hundred dollars in, in revenue over the last four years. You know, it's uh, 30, 31,000 views, depending on how long people watch it for. But if we look on here, let's just see, maybe it'll tell me, maybe maybe I can look at what it earned, even though they've, they're going to claw the money back. But maybe we can look at what this has uh, has earned over the years. So if I play it. So now these ads are running for who's made the claim. If I look at analytics on this, we'll see what this video has earned. So it looks like this, this video would have earned about $2 over the last uh, 30 days or 28 days. Um, you know, not, not a lot of money, but it's it's earning money. And it's, it, this video has been up for about four years now. But um, you know, if you look at the stats here, I mean, it, it goes up and down, right? So we can look at what it would earn on an average, you know, an average time, where is it uh, revenue here? So this is basically based on days. Some days it won't earn any, other times it'll earn a few cents here and there. But, uh, you know, it, 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 like all the videos, they all, you know, you have, you have enough videos up, you earn a little bit of money from them. So not, not a lot from it, but it's, you know, it's earned, it's, it's, it's earned some money. So let's listen to see what they've made the claim for. Okay. That song is called Iberian Heat. It's Music Bakery because I only use Music Bakery content. Let's go to Music Bakery and search it out. I think that's how it's spelled, Iberian Heat. There is the song there. <clears throat> Okay, so there's the track, and as you notice here, it says, <clears throat> if we look at, uh, because all my music from Music Bakery, and the composer here, you can see is Jack Weldon Mayer, he's the composer of all this music, it says, your music purchase includes our royalty-free buyout license, read more, we'll just see, just so we can see this, so it says, buy it once, use it forever, right, and it says, uh, pay for it once, use it forever, your music purchase include our royalty-free buyout license, <clears throat> And you notice right over here, it says, License for use within your video and audio projects of all kinds. Includes websites, slideshows, games, apps, podcasts, TV and radio, event photography, videography, Facebook, YouTube, Google+, and anywhere else you need music. Now we'll go and I'll, I'll 
dig up my license for this track. So when I started getting these um, claims, I sent off uh, an email to the music bakery and I got them to send me documentation to show that uh, I have the rights to it. So here's the letter I received back. Dear Dave, as requested, we are sending you this notice confirming your royalty-free license to use the music tracks listed below within your videos and to post them, these videos on file sharing sites such as Vimeo and YouTube. This license includes commercial rights. The following music title co constitutes your license material, Iberian Heat. Thank you again for your music purchase. My best to you, Dave Jack. Jack Waldemere, president and executive producer of the Music Bakery, and it's got all the information here. So now I've got a, now I've got to file a dispute, and I have to send this to YouTube to get that claim released, and this is the process that we do to do that. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to copy the text here and uh, put it in my clipboard. So now I'm back at the um, the main Music Bakery page with the the track showing. I'm going to go back to YouTube and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on File a Dispute. And it says, I believe this copyright claim is not valid because I have a license or permission from the rights holder to use this material. Continue. I am absolutely sure that I have a license. Continue. And reason for dispute. Music Bakery. Royalty. Royalty free. I'll now put in my letter. Copy this in. And up here, just between here, <clears throat> I'll put the link. So I'm going to, to go up to my royalty free here and I'm just going to copy this link, copy, and then I'm going to go back to the uh, claim form here, or the, the dispute form, and I'm going to paste this in. So now I'm sending it the notification, music bakery, royalty free, I'm sending them the, the link to the music, right, and that, and I, I might even add title. Is actually Iberian Heat because you see what these fraudsters do is they've changed the name. They're calling it Mac what Mac Mac Rowan is supposedly the name of the band and they, they've called the song The Cloud. So this is what someone has done is they've taken this music and they've changed the name of it and now they're trying to copyright it, which is illegal. You you cannot copyright non-exclusive music. The, the, these aren't the only ones that do this. Um, it, this is also done by that, uh, what's his name? I forget the guy's name who put some words to it. Rick Hart, he's another one that's done a bunch of this stuff and I have to dispute it. So. Now I go down here and I click on, uh, I understand, and I'm going to type in my credentials with YouTube, which should be good enough, for my electronic signature, and yes, I have good faith that this is correct, because I do have, actually do have my, my documentation, and I understand my video will be reviewed by the claimant, and I go click, and now I have to submit it, so now it's, I've got just a follow-up here, just to Clarify, verify the following that music bakery royalty free the title is actually Iberian Heat there it is of course when YouTube formats stuff they just kind of mishmash everything all together but you get the drift it's they're just it's there submit dispute yes I want to dispute the claim and now I have to sit back and wait now they're usually pretty quick on this um, it could take up to 30 days for them to to dispute this, but it will be resolved in my favor. Every single one has been resolved in my favor every time, but this is what these um, people do, these crooks, they do this. And a lot of people, when they get this notification, they're kind of questioning, okay, well, what's that? Was that music I used, was it royalty free or, or did I really infringe on someone else's rights? And a lot of people will just ignore this because 
after all their video they're not getting a copyright strike and they're not um, you know their their video is still playable so a lot of people will ignore this and they'll let these fraudsters take revenue that's they're entitled to now you look at it say okay I, I made two bucks off this video over the past uh, 30 days big deal right okay uh, the video has been up for four years this video has been earning a couple bucks a month over the last four years multiply that by the number of videos that are up there and if you start getting claims on a bunch of them and, and and you ignore them that can add up to a substantial amount of revenue so uh, and this is the problem the, these claims keep coming back this video has been up for four years and all of a sudden someone's made a claim on it although this track has been claimed before i've used this music on some of my road trip videos and this track has been already claimed because i had the i had the documentation from music bakery because when i get the claim if, if i don't have the documentation i send them an email and i get a reply back with the w w as my uh, as my letter from from uh, music bakery to dispute so that is uh, that's how you dispute it and uh, we'll try and keep these organizations that make these claims in check because they spring up everywhere and uh, this is an ongoing thing something I have to do multiple times a week it's uh, just one of those things that if you're staying on top of your channel and you're monetizing you have to make sure that you have to keep track of of others that are going to try and take your revenue because there's a lot of people out there that will do it and uh, I've had videos where I've had to completely re-edit uh, because of, because of a, a, an oversight on my side, on, in case of a TV that I was uh, repairing, I had some a shot off the screen in the background um, of some YouTube video, and the photographer that did the time lapse made a claim, and I actually had to take that out because they took about sixteen hundred dollars, I think it was, in revenue that that video had generated over the course of three years. But I'm usually pretty careful when I use music; everything that I use is copyright free or it falls within the fair use uh, like for example the opener for this one I'm I'm used hocus pocus by focus a riff from it but the riff is also carefully edited so that it doesn't exceed eight seconds of continuous play and that's 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 the key if you're going to use a sample of music I think it's nine seconds and I try to keep it to eight seconds but uh, if you use a clip with less than nine seconds of continuous play you're okay now if you cut a bunch of it together you could make a longer song by taking little bits and pieces from from one and this is a lot how a lot of these uh, a lot of these so-called music artists now can get away with uh, ripping off um, older material and sampling it because they're being very very careful they're they're taking little snippets here and there and um, they can get away with it because they're not uh, using more than a few seconds at a time and that's how a lot of them get away with it anyway for let's for for fun let's uh, search out that claimant and see what comes up will I be able to find that uh, that song that uh, they are calling, that they're saying that they that has been uh, what was it called? The cloud. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's a remixer, and let's just see whether his. Let's just see whether that song that they're claiming. Uh, this will be interesting if I can find it here. What's, what do they call it? The cloud. Let's see if I can find this. There. Oh, let's just. For shits and giggles, let's see if I can play. Oh, gee. <clears throat> it kind of sounds like they took the same music, doesn't it? <clears throat> let's just see what they're doing. Because, you know, it, this, is, this is exactly what these crooks do. That he's, taken, he's taken music from Music Bakery and he's releasing it and maybe making some changes, maybe not. It doesn't sound like there's been any changes made so far. This sounds exactly the same song. It's exactly the same. It, this is this is incredible. It's this is an absolute ripoff. Well, this is unbelievable. They've made some changes. Uh, you know, if I listen to this here, if I go back here, let me. I'll show you some changes they've made here. Okay, I think this is about where it is here. 
Let me find it where they've made a couple changes. They've shortened it. They shortened the song, but I'll put the two of them up and we'll, I'll show you guys the differences that they've made on this thing. Okay, this is the difference here. They've edited this out. I'll go find this part from the from the real version of it because that was played with an electric guitar on the original version where they've re re resampled this and uh, remixed it. Go back to this one, wherever I did with it, here somewhere. Can I shove it off the screen somewhere? Um, yeah, this is it here. Here's the, here's the passage here. So they, they made some changes. Uh, their track is only what, um, 2 minutes and 29 seconds long and the original one is 3 minutes and 1 second. So they've taken, they've taken bits and pieces from this. Idea, though you can't just take someone else's music and make some very subtle changes and call it your own you, you can't do it and and that's that's you know. it's the same music it's the same music uh, how you know but anyway this is this is the bullshit Pardon my friend. This is the bullshit we have to deal with when you're dealing with any royalty-free music. Is that someone else is going to take it and they're going to make some subtle changes to it and try to copyright it and then um, and then cash in on the legitimate use. Anyway, that's my rant on that. This will be settled for sure because this is not the same. This is a ripoff. This guy here should be the one going to jail. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, and he's selling. He's selling this. But anyway, um, all the power to him. You know, I understand what they're doing, but what they're doing is wrong. You can't take non-exclusive music and uh, and copyright it. Simple as that. That's the way the copyright law works. So. so that's how he's starting his version and the of course the original one yeah um pretty obvious um who did the original and you see the release date of this is uh, February 15th, 2018 and the original one uh, was released I'm, try I'm trying to remember how long I've had this track but it's 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 a lot longer than 2018 the video that in question that they've tagged is uh, from 2014 most of the stuff I bought off Music Bakery was when I was in the production business and uh, I, I, wrapped out, I wrapped up the production business in 2006 so all the music that I purchased was prior to 2006, so this would have been an old track. It's off of volume 44. It's like, know that much, but because um, uh, we, we bought a bunch of a bunch of CDs from it. But anyway, um, that's that's what happens, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you again in the next one real soon.